The occupied territories of Azerbaijan must be returned to Azerbaijan's control, said U.S. co-chair of the OSC Minsk Group James Warlick at a press conference in Baku on October 22nd. He noted that the discussions in Baku would focus on the elements of the negotiations on the conflict settlement, which include the status of Nagorno-Karabakh, the return of refugees and IDPs to their native lands, and deployment of peacekeepers in the territory. According to the U.S. co-chair, following the important meetings in Vienna and St. Petersburg, there are opportunities to move forward on a lasting settlement. The purpose of our discussions here and in Yerevan will be to work with the presidents on the way forward, Warlick said. I've spoken personally with President Aliyev, and I know that he is uh, committed to the negotiations, uh, to working on the proposals on the table, and to meeting uh, yet again with uh, President uh, Sarkisyan to find that way forward. James Warlick also touched upon the recent statement of U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, saying that currently the settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is not possible because the sides are not ready for a peaceful resolution. Secretary of State uh, John Kerry has demonstrated his commitment to working with the parties uh, towards uh, a peaceful settlement of the conflict. There should be no, no question uh, that the United States is committed to working with, uh, with the parties uh, to uh, find a negotiated settlement to the conflict, which is interested, which is in the interest of all of the people in the region. James Warlick also stressed that the OSC Minsk Group co-chairs share a common goal of finding a lasting settlement and are committed to working with each other and with the parties on the way forward. OSC Minsk Group co-chairs are planning to meet with the foreign ministers of Azerbaijan and Armenia as part of an OSC Ministerial Council's meeting in Hamburg, Warlick underscored. Rena Gaeva, Rufet Alekbarov, CBC.